House Republicans will try to elect a new speaker for the second time later today. That's Ohio Congressman and Trump ally Jim Jordan, who's the GOP's new candidate. And he has been steadily picking up more and more support ahead of today's vote on the House floor. Nicole Killian is on Capitol Hill for us. She's been following all of this. Nicole, good morning. Is today the day? Hey, good morning to you, Tony. Well, this really comes down to numbers. Because the Republican majority is so slim, Congressman Jordan can only afford to lose four votes. And even though he tells us he feels very good about his support, this could easily go multiple rounds. Two weeks after Kevin McCarthy's ouster, a paralyzed House will try again to fill the void with Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan. We got to come together as a conference uh, or we can't open the, the Congress and we can't open the Congress till we get a speaker. So we need to get a speaker as, as soon as possible. That's what we're focused on. Jordan mounted a full court press during a meeting Monday night after flipping several key holdouts. He's assured me that members like me and uh, the people I represent will have uh, a voice at the table. But not all Republicans are convinced. If he will force this vote to the floor with people objecting, I will not vote for Can we get voting? An ally of former President Donald Trump, Jordan chairs the House Judiciary Committee, helping to lead the impeachment inquiry against President Biden. The Biden Justice Department tries to sweep it all under the rug. Some Democrats have labeled him a far-right extremist, while former D.C. police officer Michael Fanone, who was beaten on January 6, called him an insurrectionist and an election denier for objecting to the 2020 results. I've never said this election was stolen. All I've said is, let's check it out. Colorado's Ken Buck says he wants more clarity around Jordan's position before deciding whether he'll support. If he's going to lead this conference during a presidential election cycle, and particularly a presidential election year, with primaries and caucuses around the country, is going to have to be strong and say, Donald Trump didn't win the election, and we need to move forward. If things don't go Jordan's way, at least one Republican lawmaker is circulating a resolution that could empower the acting speaker, Patrick McHenry, to keep serving through next month. Nate? We will stay tuned. Time is ticking. All right. Thank you, Nicole.